This is the world's cheapest action camera and I'm gonna test it under extreme conditions here on top of the Swiss mountains. So this is footage of the cheap $29 camera. However, the audio comes from my GoPro Hero 8 and I'm not using my GoPro Hero 9 because I'm saving my battery life for this. <laughs> This camera really feels like a GoPro Hero 3 or an HD Hero and the cool thing are those buttons because with the gloves it's really hard to use the touchscreen so I'm really glad about those buttons and so far everything works great. This might have surprised one or the other of you that the image quality for $29 is actually not that bad. And for those $29 you didn't only get this camera, you also got a bunch of accessories, which is really cool. probably have noticed that this video style is a little bit different. It's the first time where I travel to a special location only for the sake of a video and it's really fun to make those outdoors videos and in the future I would like to keep this style of videos. So you see the beautiful nature and you learn some tips of me. Maybe it's not gonna be that much of a learning video but more of an entertaining one with a really nice location so definitely subscribe if you don't want to miss those. Now the reason why you only heard the audio of the Insta360 was this. You probably have noticed that this video style is a little bit different. Obviously the audio is horrible as I can only mount the cheap camera with the case. And the second reason why you are hearing the audio of the Insta360 1R is because I ran out of battery on my GoPro Hero 8. I used two batteries and actually the cheap camera still has full battery life. I have no idea how that's possible. All right, now it's time for the extreme stabilization test. I'm going all the way up there with my sledge. I'm gonna mount the cheap camera on my head and I'm gonna film everything with my GoPro. So we can not only see how this camera performs, but also how the GoPro performs under those extreme conditions. But first I have to make my trail. It's gonna take a while. It's so tiring to walk in that deep snow and on 3000 meters with a mask on. I'm first gonna make a test only with the Hero 9 just to see if my trail works or not but then if it works I'm going up much higher <laughs> didn't go as planned all right I'm ready for the ride let's go unfortunately you won't have hyper smooth as my GoPro is too cold for the stabilization so I'm filming in 2.7k 120 so it's more or less stable fail as you have seen, the cheap camera doesn't stabilize the footage really well. Obviously, it only costs $29. I wouldn't recommend you to buy this camera. It's just too cheap in my opinion. But now I'm gonna make a final try going all the way down there. I'm only going to film it with my GoPro here on 9 in 4K so you can see everything in super view. Three, two, one, go. That's it. See you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.